Hi there, my name is Whitney Coop and today I'm going to show you another try a trade. Today's try a trade, we are going to be exploring our fashion technology skills and we are going to be using felt and sewing to create skipping ropes with fun handles. One safety tip before we get started, we're going to be working with sharp needles and so you just wanna be careful with these. You also wanna be careful not to lose them. And so when I'm finished using my needle, I am just going to stick it in this piece of felt so I know where it is when I put it down. So before we get started crafting our skipping ropes, you're going to have to get creative and find some inspiration for your skipping rope handles. So you can use any type of shape, um, maybe a vegetable or an animal of some sort, and you are going to trace it onto your felt and create your design. So feel free to think outside the box or maybe copy one of these designs, whatever you'd prefer. So once you've come up with your idea for your skipping rope handles, you're gonna take one piece of felt and one square piece of felt is going to be one handle. And so you can fold it in half. And actually, once you fold it in half, you can go ahead and cut it in half right away. And those are gonna be your handles. And then what you can do is you can trace or draw um, your design onto your piece of felt. Here, I've drawn an outline of a carrot, and then you can cut that out, and those are going to be the pieces that you use to sew your handles together. So once you've cut out your two pieces, we're gonna start working on sewing them together. So to begin, you're going to pick out your yarn and pick a nice color that's gonna go with your design. I've selected green to go with my carrot. I'm gonna prepare enough thread to sew the whole bit together. So almost about the size of your arms. Not too much, not too little. You're gonna get your needle out and you're going to thread the yarn through the needle. So you'll hold the yarn in your fingertips Roll it around a bit and taking the needle up to your fingertips, thread the yarn through and then hold it about there, maybe about 12 inches or so you can pull it through just to keep this so that it's not too long. Once you've threaded your needle, we can start sewing. You'll hold your two pieces of felt together and you're going to just sew them together. So you're gonna start on the end and from one side, about a millimeter from the edge, you're gonna poke your needle through the felt and pull your thread through so that you've got about six to 12 inches of thread hanging out on the other side. And then very gently, without pulling your thread through again, you're going to take your needle through from the back side of the felt and pull it through the front side. Careful not to pull your entire thread out. This is called a whip stitch. And this is how you are going to sew together your handles. You're going to sew like this all the way down your entire handle to about this point, and then we're going to stop to stuff the handle. So go ahead and start sewing. So now that we have sewn just about three quarters of the way up our carrot, we're going to put our sewing down and gently make sure that we know where our needle is. And we're going to jump to our rope to start preparing it for, for cutting. And so to size out your rope, what you can do is you're gonna step on your rope and pull it up here so that you are matching it just exactly your height 
exactly what works best for you. You're gonna pull it up to your armpits and with about two inches in your hands, you're gonna see, okay, that's exactly the size rope that I'm going to need. And then you can just cut it at that spot. And you are going to just put in knots on the last inch or two of the rope, which are gonna go inside of the handles. So before we put our skipping rope into the handle, I've gone ahead and I've stuffed the carrot about three quarters of the way already. And then I finished sewing up until about a quarter over past the top of the carrot. I'm able to attach the skipping rope into the felt handle. And I'm going to do that by using a little bit of fabric glue. And so I can put a bit of the fabric glue into the carrot just on one half, one side, and then I can stick the skipping rope in. It's going to attach to the glue a bit. And then while you're at this point, you can stuff it the rest of the way around the handle. So you're going to add your stuffing in and you're just careful not to disturb the glue too much. And before we are done stuffing, we are just going to add just a little bit more glue to the top of the skipping rope and underneath it so that we make sure it's attached really good inside the handle. After I attached the skipping rope into the handle, I finished sewing up all the way to the end here. Just one tip when you are sewing around the skipping rope, what I do is I just try to pick up just a little bit of the thread on the sides of the skipping rope to help secure it better. But I don't try to sew right through the skipping rope because that's gonna be really hard and you're not gonna be able to get your needle through it. So I've reached the end of sewing together my carrot and I just have to finish sewing and tie off the thread. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your two pieces of thread and you're just gonna tie it in a simple little double knot. And instead of just cutting the thread right there, I'm gonna show you a trick for how to hide the thread in the stuffy here. So you're gonna take your remaining thread and really close to where you tied your knot, you're gonna put the needle through the stuffy and bring the thread through about an inch away and then pull, pull the thread through and the needle out. So I pulled that second thread through in the same way and from here, you can just take your scissor pull on the thread just a little bit and give it a snip and cut them both away and they're hidden inside of the carrot. Now to finish off your handle, I, since I made a carrot, I am just going to glue on a little bit of a carrot topper from some felt that I cut out earlier. I'll just go ahead and glue it on like that and you'll wanna give it a chance to dry. But that is all you have to do to finish your skipping rope handle. When you're done your one skipping rope handle, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna make a second one. Maybe this time you wanna try a different shape, kind of like we did on this skipping rope. But that is all it takes and you will have a finished skipping rope to play with. You're all done. Good job.